Notice we're solving a quadratic equation, and it is in standard form. It is set equal to zero. If you'd like, you can try and factor this trinomial, but it will not factor using integers, so I'm going to now go to the quadratic formula. Remember, a is the coefficient of the squared variable, so a is 1. b is the coefficient of, in this case, m, so b is negative 1. And c is the constant, in this case, 8. And then remember your quadratic formula. Here we're solving for m, so m is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and that is all over 2a. Now, let's put in our replacement values. It's the opposite of b, and b itself is negative 1, so be very careful there, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's negative 1 squared, minus 4 times a is 1 times c, is 8, and this is all over. So this fraction bar extends the entire length all over 2 times a is 1. Let's simplify then. The opposite of negative 1 is 1, and then this is plus or minus the square root of, this is 1 minus 32. Negative 1 quantity squared is 1. 1 minus 32, that's negative 31, all over 2 times 1, which is 2. And what can we do with that? Well, 31 contains no perfect square factors other than 1, but we can write this using I notation. So this is 1 plus or minus. The square root of negative 1 is I, and then I have my square root of 31 all over 2. I have two answers here, 1 plus i square root of 31 all over 2, and 1 minus i square root of 31 all over 2.